Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. Listen, don't get mad at the title of the video. Please just hear me out before you get angry. Because when this first happened, I was just like every other libertarian. But there are some stats that I have to share with you. I am now on Bob Costas' site. I hope Bob Costas will cost us our right to bear arms. And I'm about to tell you why. Do you know how many people... uh uh, uh. But I, I'm, I'm trying to do a show. Christelle helping me be safe. Um, and I guess that's one of the stats I wanted to get to. I do want to talk to you about this gun issue, though, because Bob Costas is so correct. I do got to get to this, though. Do you know, according to Al Vima, it's a website, there are 100 ways to kill somebody with a pen. I swear to you, I did not make it up. Go look it up. And why are there go to straightdope.com? Well, they will teach you that a hundred people a year die choking on a ballpoint pen. You know, that I, I'm, she's right. I shouldn't be pointing with it. I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. Uh -huh. No, uh, with the scissors that sh she took off me earlier. Uh, we're going to get rid of guns, we're going to get rid of scissors, we're going to get rid of pens, but I'll get to all this in a moment, but I might as well mention it. According to Wiki Answers, do you know a hundred people a year die by scissor stabbings? I had no clue. I really had no idea. So when Bob Costas comes out and starts saying that, you know, a certain percentage of or 85, 80, 65 or 60 out of 80 or 85 people had guns and that they couldn't be responsible to keep those, that is absolutely true. We need to ban guns and these pens. And I'll tell you, <laughs> what, no, I, I'm just eating. Well, I, I guess I guess I could put my knife and fork down. I'm trying to talk to you about guns, but I've once again got sidetracked. So Christelle, please let me do this show. Um, she is, you know, the lights, the tech, and now she is in charge of safety for the correct views. And in light of my finger, if you looked at the last video, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Don't even get me started on fish aquariums. Don't even. All right, listen to this. According to WDTN News 5, a Springsville, Ohio man named Jason Wones was stabbed to death with a fork. Y you know what? You cannot be too careful these days. You really can't. So we need to start banning these guns and getting these guns off the street. Be I'm just eat. What are you pointing? She's pointing at the plate. Um, I'm never going to get this show done, but I might as well mention it. Um, do you know, I did a start page search, and she's right, on Killed by Glass. It's played here. According to start page, in .14 seconds, I learned that there were 26 million... 299,687 suggestions regarding killed by glass. And you know, that's what I'm saying. Once we ban glass, forks, knives, scissors, and pens, then we can focus on important things. And I, I, something else I learned when I was in martial arts, and you can look this up, uh, begin, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for Beginners with Aaron Fruits, Fruitstone, or just go to my sensei, Master Rick Blackwell of VictoryAsianArts.com. Look at that. Ah, God, the, the, the reason I want... The reason I don't want you to go there is because you will learn that you can choke somebody out using their clothes to do it. And you know what, Christelle? I've got the solution. Ah, that's gone far enough. Uh, all right. Well, you're